Okay. Now we can <laughs> finally start the game. Good evening. I didn't put my glasses on. I don't know why I don't have them on. Huh. I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. <sighs> you can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, I can't, I can't afford not to come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used impending closure as a means for getting their employees to work. Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I get bored out of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. What did you say? Nothing important. Jill isn't back yet? Nope, I wouldn't worry too much about him though. If you say so. That girl still here? Yep. She was sleeping so peacefully I felt bad I felt bad about her wake I, I felt bad about waking her up. So would you mind doing that for me? Actually, yes, I mind. But you're the boss, and it's kinda my fault she's here in the first place. Sorry about that. Hey young lady. Sleep another hour and we'll have to start charging you for a motel fee. Yeah. Uh, where am I? Oh, right. Ugh. The shoddy downtown bar. Let's see. All my gear is in place. And neither my pants nor my ugh, panties, shirt or bra have been displaced. Oh. It's the flat bartender. Good morning. Good evening. Evening? Oh well. It it's the best night or day of sleep I've had in quite some time. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused you today or last night. D don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye. Hello guys and gals, Jimmy Chen's back in action with her batteries reloaded. Ah, the moon, it burns! <laughs> I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible into the world. Yes, you have. Come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. It's our, it's some sort of rum. Rum? Nice. Want me to serve you a bit of it? Hmm, yeah, sure. Let's give Boss some rum. Go to the bottle drinks tab and drag it to the shaker before mixing. Okay, bottle drinks... Lam. There's a, like the fedora. A perfume and a plum. I should give this to someone someday. Here. Alright. I'm gonna enjoy this in my office. Thanks. Anytime. Okay, then. Okay, let's do troubling news. All systems go. Let's do snowfall. In fact, let's do snowfall before this. Let's do... Mm, drive me wild. Sure. Time to serve mix and try... Time to serve mix and change lives. Wait. That's not how it goes. <sighs> no one's here to retort. Man, it feels lonely without Jill here. 
I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous weird types coming in here. Good evening. Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx. Welcome to Valhalla, what can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't make a joke about becoming real, don't make a joke about becoming real. On it. Hey, Adi, where you going? That was too much. I was too busy singing fairy tale. Um, and I don't know what a drunken brain looks like, so I'm gonna do. The most amount of karma trying I possibly can. Cool. That's like almost all of it. Uh, okay. All aged and mixed. Here you go. Nice. Yeah, this is the thing. So, um, how are you gonna... Oh, you can grab stuff. Should have figured as much. You can drink stuff and eat. I have the same system Lil Lilim do. Can I ask you something, uh, um, miss? Call me Taylor. Just Taylor. And yes, a cutie like yourself can t can ask me anything. Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met. That didn't go, okay, just Taylor. Nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not a hologram. Of that, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bonfire. I'm, I'm, I'm a bonafide human brain in a jar. So, how? Why? What? Does my handsomeness make you speechless? You're not... Something a girl sees every day. And that's saying quite a bit in these parts. <laughs> Fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. Oh god, Ivy's, Ivy's going live and I pretty much that. Hold on. Um, what was that weird, like, beep? I was busy looking at my phone. Hold on. Uh, you're seeing one of the five great living bottle brains of the world. You're using living... We... We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any humanoid creature. All while computers in our in our jars scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. Uh quick question to uh to chat. Um if I take like a two three hour break a two or three hour break to uh to watch another streamer <laughs> would you guys forgive me for that this is... uh 
I'm guessing you prepared. Uh, I'm guessing you prepared. Uh, you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times. I feel like you deserve that score. All right. Not out of exasperation or anything, or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Sure. Uh, what brings one of our world's five brains in jars to this place, though? Oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Jill? That's a really cute name. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today? What's with the commo commotion around and all? It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take me more than crypt... It's gonna take me more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. You're awfully energetic. Did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so happy. While I was alive, my body got to got to a point where there wasn't much I could do still. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that'll help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Do you want to make me happy, Jill? Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright, then yeah, I'll make you happy. Oh shit, I dozed off. Alright, booyah. Alright, one. One, two. One. Two. One, two. Three and four. Sir. Here, a beer. Ah, yes. No matter what happens, beer is always good. Sorry, the music is too good. It's interesting though, just yesterday I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. I've thought about that too. Do you think the you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she was indeed transferred? Like, would she remember everything? Like waking up somewhere else and so on? Hmm... That's an interesting question. I was being I was thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a, a little. One of the brain is being used for such an experiment actually. They can make a functional lilum. Unfortunately, the wiring and other such stuff make it makes it look more creepier than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything, though. Just wiring him to a body. Oh. You'd think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar. I have to admit, the whole brain thing does look creepy. But, but the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Speaking of uncanny, how did you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? It was quite a shock, actually. It didn't last too long, though. I was never too attached to my body. Later in my life, that was almost literal. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. Damn it! All the karma trying to put in your blue fairy. 
if you want to call that a downside. If you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is a part of the whole experience. Why though? Lilim can get drunk. Lilim can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but they but in their case, their brains a computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed of their bodies. Input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, they're drunk sub sub depending on the model, their drunk subroutines might throw in a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in the jar is figuring out exactly how you work. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Hey, Jill. Oh, Alma. Just, oh, Alma? What is the courtesy one would expect from plebeian bar staff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. Hmm? Whoa! You hurt my feelings with that, darling. Sorry. You don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean... It... I did work a summer in Lily Maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Your name was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. N nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I know just what to strive for, then. Just kidding. It'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Awesome. I'll pay for your next drink then. What will you have? I'll have a cobalt velvet. A new tailor? I'm fine, actually. You're gonna have me drink alone? I don't wanna drink that much. Okay, then... Wait, what? If only I could remember that song's lyrics. So, Cobalt Velvet, she said. Speaking of Cobalt, I really need to go back to Shiny Hunter Cobalion, huh? Three, four, five. All on the rocks. And mixed. Your drink. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me these past these past minutes than at least three guys have in the last year. Judging from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Only about half a year or so, if memory serves me right. Really? One would think it's been longer. Sigh. It feels like it's been it feels like it's been longer. Shut up, you love me and you know it. So you just started coming here and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy... Speaking of which, where's Pablo? Jillian. <laughs> Archimedes. Don't know, adventuring or something. Anyways, the other guy served me... The first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. The next time I show up, I showed up. Jill was the one serving, and... I don't know. I feel like she just gets me. There's this... Chemistry. We click. We click, she says. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than... With many other people is kind of sad, though. It's always good to see... A nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late, and I gotta go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See ya. Bye. Please come again. That tailor sure was nice. 
A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of the five brains being studied by, scientif by scientists or something. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've actually heard of them before. Can't believe I got- I actually met one. Hey Alma, is your family really strict or something? Not particularly, no. Why? The other day you started mumbling something about numbers not caring about what you do. About a 27 not caring if you have Catholic wedding or not. Oh god, it's not the numbers thing. Yeah, my family isn't strict per se, but my mom can be really abrasive. To her, the fact that I'm this old and not married or pregnant is a sign that I'm never gonna have kids. Never mind the fact that she always has three grandkids. She already has... Oh, wait, never mind the fact that she already has three grandkids. I love her, but she can be, well, ugh. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of get it. You also said the words, I was a blossoming woman and I wasn't going to stand for it. After talking about some 8th grade teacher. <sighs> yeah, that. You see, back when my body started developing, developing, I got really shy. But at some point, something snapped within me. I wasn't feeling shy anymore. I felt powerful. My body felt like I felt like a new toy to me, one I was gonna make sure to use. Of course, there were two problems with that idea. I was a teen, a horny teen, and I was surrounded by horny teens. Ah, <sighs> I'm not even ashamed. I still stand by that core, <laughs> that core moral I held back then. But it's one of those memories that you look back to and become terrified of how reckless you were. I mean, I could have gotten pregnant, or worse. At least that age... At that age, I was always dressed in black and was obsessed with occultism. The worst I remember was being the butt of other kids' jokes. Well, you know how the old... Uh, you know how the old adage goes. Don't compare your life to others. Don't compare your life to others. You don't know what they what they've been through. Now nah, I wasn't comparing, just wondering if some of that self esteem was some some of that self esteem thing would have helped me back then. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything. What's been going on with them? Do you live with them? No, but Avira and Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, uh, just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Dana's life has always been messy. These days she's really making it big. She wants time for herself to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married that guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she had only known for like 3 months. You should take your own advice. Hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was that one time when it almost happened, but I blamed that damn stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam? I was going out with a guy my little sister introduced me. Seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out in a couple of, we went out a couple of times and he invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us and instead of kissing me he proposed. I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Uh-huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium on the fucking kiss cam. 
we ne we went out for like three weeks. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But I honest to God can't understand why he thought it would be a good idea. That sounds too convoluted, you know? Proposing and waiting for the wedding night just for, just for sex. Never underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to get to get you in their bed. I've been more com I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. I'm feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm. What's that bottle? Oh, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? A good enough service, I'm guessing. Kasik? Is that how you say it? Huh, interesting name. What does it mean? Kasik's the name of a... Of a chieftain in some native tribes. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories where rum's involved. Get me a fringe weaver instead, will you? Alright. Hmm. Uh, fringe weaver. There you go. Uh, this thing is just alcohol. Like, it's just karma trying. All aged and mixed. There you go. One fringe weaver. What kind of memories do you have of rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. Alright, now it's my turn to ask questions. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well... I'm an only child. My mom and dad split amicably. My mom is a viol violinist. So she was always away from me with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh. Didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know. I just kind of said, that's it, one day and stopped. What about cousins or the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France to boot. So your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? Uh... Monerglisse Espline de... Danguiz. I butchered the fuck out of that, I can tell you for a fact. Ooh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know, I can't speak French. I did try- I did try though, but college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin uh, from my mom's side that lives close by. But you'll be hard pressed to make- to make me spot him in a crowd. You're kinda lucky, you know? All of my mom's side of family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, that's the... Uh... That's the primer on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker... Makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you mixologist. Please don't. Ever. Sounds like something... Something somebody would say to make bartender sound sophisticated. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it. But it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. 
people uh, want to find flaws in the security of their systems and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks be it glitch city or anywhere else in the world they need security I'm their woman You told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info, like some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. It makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Didn't you tell me you once se secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job. Jeez. What makes you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku or a crossword with me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. So, when I started college, I took a course on system security. I feel like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. It felt like, it felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching net, net security. You need to attack the surf from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I help make harder, at least. A, a puzzle I help make harder at that. Huh. I didn't think about it that way. It is less addiction-y... Wait, less action-y... Than what movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break through something is... It's an amazing feeling. We have anything else? Hmm. I'll have a classy drink. Any classy drink. Here goes nothing. Um, by type. Classy. Hmm. Let's do a. Hmm. Let's do a fringe weaver. No. One, two, let me just age it before I forget. Six, seven, eight, nine. All aged and mixed. Fringe weaver, serve. There you are. Yep, just what I needed, thanks. Say, Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Well, well, people have the right not to give me money. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay bills. Oh, I see. Do you have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. Well, my job pays pretty well, and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Am I right to assume these recipes are actual recipes that could be used in real life? I'm going to be honest, I haven't been actually looking at the game, but I'm going to assume they're probably real. I think they're real, right? At least these are what, um... These are what, yeah. I'm pretty sure... At least Karma Trine is like the amount of alcohol, I'm pretty sure. And then the others, I'm not quite sure. It's like... Um, it's like, I guess, flavors or something. I'm not quite sure, but yeah.
But yeah, I'm pretty sure there are the actual recipes. And I guess like at the number of of each of these is like the amount of of that certain thing in the drink. Well, my job is pretty uh, I already read this. Maybe maintenance on my hand and new equipment, but aside from that Oh I know. If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? We could be roommates. Dunno. Moving my stuff through the stairs because the ele moving my stuff through the stairs because the elevator is broken. Having to move my liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cat's a shot in that never that got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? I don't know. I don't. But... I've thought about it before. Now I, don't, now I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. You wanna come? Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes, it's time taken from my break. Fine, let's go. Boss, I'm taking a break. Call me if any anyone comes in. Sure, sure. And that's my cue to leave. <laughs> and save over this. I swear to God. That is my cue to leave. I'm gonna go watch someone else. Alright, see ya. And yes, I was going to watch someone else. Don't worry about it. I'm just, uh, get ready for Okay, um... Alright, so... I also forgot uh, to charge my phone, so it's almost dying. Great! Alright, let's go. It's now safe to keep playing. Cold, cold, cold. It sure, uh, it sure is chilly out here. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently he got into some legal trouble. And that's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead though. I have a cousin that uh, lives like a hobo actually. Really? Who doesn't? It's a bit complicated though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him get, won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted him for his. Bank evicted him from his from his house. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks, but refuses to take his medication. I just don't get what's up with him. Honey, some service here. I'm here, don't scream. Oh ho. 
were you two hanging at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something soft. Something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? But I like you. Do you dislike my presence that much? Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say? Alright. Did I leave enough food for Perforia at home? My flavor, sweet. Is sweet even a f like a, a flavor, really? Because I don't think that, like... I, I guess it counts as flavor. I don't know. Maybe I just... I don't know. What's the definition of flavor, really? Is Sugar Rush not... Not yeah, Sugar Rush, optional Carmen... Uh... Karma trying. One. Two. Probably the easiest in this game, actually. Uh, I'm next. Alright. Here, like you asked. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lawrence? A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Uh, yep. Why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your, um, uh, pluckiness. And here I was thinking it was because of my- I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Is it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while... Writing while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up my grown man's a up a grown man's ask. Do you have a good break? Yeah. Yes, I had a good break. Uh, that's the most fun I'm gonna get out of this stream, probably. <laughs> Last time I said that I had I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. It was a success. Um, okay then. Let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. Alright. First I do some research on the target. On... Uh, on... First, there's some reason on the target. OS servers, OS servers, how the information is stored, and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but there, but there are exceptions rather than. Oh no, but there are ex the exceptions rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try to, 
to no exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I'll go through all security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I, I see. Then, when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super, a super user and get what I want uh, and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a, a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a, a buffer overflow. Buff. What happens next? What happens next? I create a backdoor in the systems before leaving and covering my tracks. I... I can't. I can't handle it anymore. Alma, hack me. Hack me like you never hacked anything before. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Make my buffer overflow, create a backdoor in me, escalate your user privileges, find flaws in my security. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> no shit, what happened? <laughs> I fucking love it. Uh, have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah? Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilim are, are, are uh, an unexplored mar unexploited market. I see. Oh, looks like my ride is here. Your ride? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that we got married that he got married to my sister. Hey Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems noisy. Oh, a client. H Hello. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Oh my fucking god. Such a small yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lots... Where a place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the uh, vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly, a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a Persona Non Grata here. Wait. No, Persona... No, wait. Persona Non Grata... That, that means... That means, um, ungrateful person. It does not mean mysterious place. <laughs> well, what do you have then? 17. 
Excuse me? I said 17. 7 plus 10. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. Um... I give him maybe a bleeding Jane spicy drink. What if I give him a bloom light? I don't think I've given anyone a bloom light. Hmm. Hmm. What if I, you know what? I don't really care. I'll give him a fedora. How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was. And I think it isn't. Oh, you've subverted my expectation by taking me literally. Sneaky. And what brings you here, mister? I'm Armand... I'm Armandio. Virgilio Amardi... Ar Armandio. What the fuck kind of disgusting ass name is that? See? I introduced myself using the Asian order. Because that's a lot more polite. Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors. The wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquet. The lively Valkyrie is looking for over them. We have some arcade machines on the corner. No, no, no. You're, t you're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mythical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all of its de uh, decadent glory. While well, you're out of luck, today's been quite a slow day. Not that I'm... Ugh. Not that I'm very surprised given how things have been going in the streets though. Humans are a nasty bunch. That much is true. Making a ruckus coming at each other, but that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Yeah, it's not the case. Oh yeah? Then give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know exact details, I just know that isn't right. If memory serves me right, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. <laughs> takes over a pride. You can't take over pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, not zoologist bartender. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? I literally had it in my name once. The atomic number of chlorine? No, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know? The group where halogens 
are in the periodic table. Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. Okay, then I give up. 17 is us. Eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. Primal? Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum, loading in perfume, served in a man's hat. Okay. Oh, that's the fedora I gave him earlier. That's funny. Here. Huh. You didn't. Wait, you did. Enjoy. I will... I will drink this, um, perfume. You don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You, you win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender. Have you ever thought about death? How? Uh, what if we're already dead? Both of us. What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we're not in fact in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his room? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. They're, they're self-aware. I could punch you to make you feel reality. I don't... I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality, this reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. I mean... If reality really is heaven or hell, I know I'm in hell, so... Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to... Get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. What the fuck? The Habanera has started. It means the twilight of the gods in German, by the way. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Um, what? A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me look out the window. Be careful. I see a lot of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec. Huh? What? About 5 gigabytes of report providing that several white knight squad have been used to cover. Illegal... Illegal action... Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown art anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue. And using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counter-terrorism forces from neighboring cities uh, have been dispatched in order to subdue. The crazy unit after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corp CEO on the subject. But until then, things are ugly things are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar has quite a security system. 
And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. <sighs> yeah. I guess I'll stay tonight. I'll get you the spare mac mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. Ah, let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zank... Zankanto on hand, just in case. The metal bat with nails? There's nothing can't bash. Hehe. <laughs> Say, Jill, Hore. Hope everything's better by tomorrow. Day six break. Rise and shine. Ugh, good morning. It's 11 a.m. though. That's morning for me on the weekends. And any other day. How's everything outside? Still noisy. But forces have been deployed, so take care. So take care of most. Of have been deployed to take care of most of them at least. How so? Zybot's corpse president is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly to have subdued most of the opposition. There have also been reports of white knights just freezing like they were petrified somehow. You make it sound like some god suddenly decides to put everything in place. Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there's still some bad apples out, and it's not really safe yet, but it was worse last night. There also seemed to be a civilian force... Li oh my fucking god. There also seems to be a civilian force lynching any white knights they spot. So not only are the White Knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. I wonder if Say's okay. Should we be worried about Jill? The kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. What the fuck are they doing outside? I dare to even safer wherever he is than here. I sure hope so. What the fuck are they doing outside? You shut up! Are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Oh, alright. Say. Do you want me to help you get your get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. And here we are. Home sweet home. Thanks a lot. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a bit? Hmm? Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit, mostly to thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometimes, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. To more beer? I was gonna say, to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. 
on one you know what just because i grab a beer on my own let me let me go grab a beer because i was gonna have one anyway though it might not be good for my throat but it's fine it's all right Got it. All right. Um. Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me though. Smoke if you want. Thanks. Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? It gets cold from time to time, but nothing the Kotatsu and the heater can't fix. All right, boss. You're not very good with the cold, are you? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here either. Yeah, I left it at home when going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold and I didn't expect to spend the night in the, at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. I have this hoodie from some time ago and it was too big for me. Why buy it then? It was dirt cheap. Right. Wait. Where did you get this one? Don't know. Some flea markets ages ago. Why? Nothing. It's just like one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use. It just ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. Um, we'll see. Come to think of it. How old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. Alright. Let me go change it to something more comfortable. Take your time. Cute! Foray. Say Jill, there's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring in my direction. Mm hmm Oh, that's just Foray. He's basically wary of any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll warm up quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual looking. Blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. Yeah, weird, huh? At first, I, did, I thought they were like... I thought they were like that because he was small, but he never changed. But they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Back at home, we had a bear. Ah, I s uh, What? Good old Bosco. He kept intruders away better than any dog. <laughs> right. Hmm? This picture here isn't something you see every day. What? Me taking such a snappy, me taking such a sappy pic. No, a framed picture on printed paper. It's so vintage. Who are these? That's um. The one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabrielle, her sister. Huh. Is this pick recent or... Actually, that's one for from three or four years ago. You look exactly the same. I'm only 27, what did you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures on their exes so up of their access so openly let alone a printed and framed one did you two break up on good terms then you even hesitated a bit when calling her your ex <sighs> let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things 
and me storming out of her house, breaking a couple of things on the way out. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away, haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing, and you look so happy in the pic. Why have her pick out like this then? Uh, I just couldn't get my mind off something that Alma said to me. About missing having a, the warmth of someone else's... About missing having the warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow. Mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head in their chest. Uh, hey, Kranik, how you doing? Wait, that title? Yes, that title. You, you just... There's a... There's a... There's a... There's... I've, I've been going for, what, two days now? And I'm still nowhere close. But how are you doing today? Putting your head in the chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off, knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. I don't know. I felt nostalgic, then miserable. I'll just put this away. Dedication I respect. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. We'll get there eventually. One day. I've been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm? What's that on the table? Looks like an envelope. It's nothing, nothing. Now, please give that to me. Lope. All right. I saw nothing, don't worry. Anyways, let's go grab some beers. Guide me. Wait. Oh my god, did you see the mouse? <laughs> it was just flashing epilepsy warning also. You look at that epilepsy warning. Don't don't look at that if 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 you're particularly sensitive. But Jesus Christ, I just had that there for no reason. Damn, you have lots of beer. What the heck? It's probably just like you know how it changes with the with the drink part, and not with like anything else. Damn, you have lots of beer. We can drink as much as we want. We finished the beer. We finished the beer already and it hasn't even been the first text box. <laughs> yeah, I see that, but oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's because it's like right in between the text box. Cause like I see that the the I think the hitbox of the text box is text box is like slightly larger than what it looks like judging from like what it what it seems here and then the drink here it, it changes the thing so like there's I, I think there's two text boxes that collide so it doesn't know which one to pick and there's there's two like hit boxes that are colliding and so it's just like oh i, I don't i don't know which which one is it Damn, you have lots of beer. Well, the BTC gives me discounts and point cards. I can use I can use every time I buy their alcohol. With that, beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. I can agree with that. And besides, the one in the bar 
This is more of a uh, double IPA. This one is more of a pil 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 pilsner. In English, please. This this one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. Don't know. Doesn't taste like a lighter to me. Is this one made with the um? What was the name of the base again? What was the name of the of the base liquid you use at the bar again? Uh. Neutrogic, di dichometrical, lidogenol, or NDL. It was it was a supplement or something, right? Let me. <sighs> Just having a sip of my own beer. It was an experimental fluid they created. To replace water when the maiden's kiss polluted water supplies. The effects of pollution turned out uh, to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. But the BTC still commissioned it uh, for use in bars. And is this... And is this one made with it? Let's see... Yep, here it is. Near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Corn cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, if I remember co correctly. They need it for packaged drinks. I only have 8 cans left. Damn. I see. I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. Do you want some of it? Do you want some of it? Uh, will you have some? Have some too? Not really. No. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend and boss? Why wouldn't I? Don't know. Uh, don't know. What with being my boss and all, I never—I was never too sure. Well, in any case, well, well, in case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Oh my God, she's turning red. <laughs> I've been drinking too much. <laughs> Besides, you and Jill are always so diligent and responsible that I'm that I'm boss in name only anyways. That's good to know. On the side motherfuck I told you see the text box is way larger. Like the hitbox of the text box is way larger than the than the one for the drink. Which it made it made it so like I skipped the dialogue. And even more that you hung it in uh plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why you did it, though. Aside from fulfilling an empty spot in the wall, I don't really know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess it's like, if one of us gave you, I don't know, a dildo-shaped trophy or something, you had it, some or something, and you had it there as a conversation starter. Although, no one comes here anyways, so it's kind of pointless. What? No steamy nights of passion? Not since a year ago. I think I'd rather not talk about that about what happened then. Did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. No, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess. 
and not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Glad to know you have my back though. That's what friends are for. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Wait. You talk about the uh, poster and compare it to having a dildo shaped trophy. Do you just call me a dildo face? That's what friends are for. <laughs> hey Jill. Where did you get that black four ball? Four a ball. Well, as with, that, as with any black cat or house cat in general, he's actually a stray. I found him in the alleys near the building not long after I moved here, I think. Ah, I see. It was quite the sight, though. He was uh, cornered by all these dogs, but they were keeping their distance. He was holding his ground, hissing and scratching as much as he could. What the fuck did- Oh right, I could have just used that for any dialogue I skipped. I wish someone told me that. I, I wish I remembered that sooner. Fuck. He was holding his ground, hissing and scratching as much as he could. There was a fried- chicken bucket nearby that had some rainwater in it so i threw the water over the dogs they ran and i figured the cat's mom would be nearby so i left then i noticed people looking in my direction as i walked turns out the little shit started following me so you brought it home at first i wanted to see if i could find him a new home but having him welcome Having him welcome me whenever I came back was just too much for my heart, so he ended up saying, I'm out of beer, no! It was destiny, girl. When he came, he was so cute, though not like the fat mask that's sleeping on the table. Hey, you're not a spring chicken yourself, you know? Oh ho! Shit, I actually did that in front of someone. Ho 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 ho! A anyway... Don't anyway me, do you normally speak for your cat like that? Maybe... <sighs> I wonder if Jill's alright. You worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Jill. So... Uh... I wouldn't worry about Jill so much, though. There's three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third... He absolutely hates bell peppers. He does? I've seen him even reject food that... Has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Unless he's allergic or something. He's not. Man, what a baby. How did you meet such a guy? He showed up in the door of the bar. He... What? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right, levitation potion. It was a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have money on him. I couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave him the drinks for free. Wait, I, I was I was speaking with like the drunken uh, Jill voice, but I'm supposed to be doing Dana. And after a couple, and after a couple, he broke down crying. He... Huh? I don't really know why he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance. Or whatever, and I told him if he could wash... Wash himself, I'd do... I'd find him a job. 
And I'll be damned. He looked totally different the next day. Damn. I tried and failed to find out anything about him. So I decided to take him at face value. I judge him from... From... What he did as an employee. And aside from the occasional sudden escape, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. I returned the favor in kind... In, I returned the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time. Sometimes literally. What surprises me is that you took him in so easily. I can take care of myself. And I always kept an eye on him. And besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate so easily. I see. You've made the bar more lively yourself, don't you? How so? Well, with the regulars you've earned... Well, with the regulars you've earned, of course. Like that blonde titty hacker. I can't remember her name. Alma... I was gonna say Armitage. Well, she's hot. I'll give her, I'll give her that much. She's also a nice person in general, but damn, she's hot. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah, why? It's... It's weird to see you say so openly that someone's hot. Eh? What? Yeah, and you can't see that she's as hot... She has a hot body, boss. You'll find no objections here. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about taking her to her room and... Jill, you sure you weren't drunk? I am. I mean, I'm sure I'm not. I mean, um, but those are thoughts I leave to myself. I don't, I don't think I could handle her in a relationship. She has weird standards. That and she's as straight as straight gets. She's still a lovely person though. That that she became a regular is a blessing. Any regular is a blessing when you get down to it. There's also that sex worker robot girl. Ah, Dorothy. She intrigues me though. I've seen lots of sex worker over the, sex workers over the years, and she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job. Or rather that she takes she takes to it with such child, childish excitement. I've kind of noticed that too, but then again, Lilim can be weird. You think? Lilim operates some really foreign logic. I just realized I made Jill run out of beers, and yet I'm still holding mine. <laughs> I mean, you don't really share our fear of mortality. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, it might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they are different. Like a different culture, if you must. Hmm, I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a DFC-72. It's a social interactions model or something. Let them get positive reinforcements straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose, so... <clears throat> I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. The name Lilim is a bit weird, though. It is? You'd expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilim doesn't convey the image of 
automatons. Just a tip, bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Bot is akin to calling them retarded and doll is like calling them fake. Oh wait, it was Joe that said that. I, I didn't even realize. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilim? As far as I know, because they all come from a bigger AI called Lilith. And the Lilim are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Oh, cool. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called your f by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne and you almost tore me a new... You almost tore me a new one with your glare. See? Like that. It's no big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud. Try me. Well... Did you ever watch Model Warriors Julianne? Not all of it, but my little sister's a big fan of, of the returns. Of the reruns, not returns, what the fuck. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything from the dolls, to the costumes, to the lunch boxes. It didn't help that it was one of those shows that got strapped literally everywhere. Saw a couple- I saw a couple of episodes once, they were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show's about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. How the show presented Jules hating her job because it, inv it invited enemies. And yet still found solace in trying to be a role model. Hell, the main character wasn't a kid. Julian was an adult that became a young that became younger when transformed. I'd say it was a pretty ambitious kid show. Even by today's standards. Just the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty standards of body image. Challenging as fuck. Oh, you got excited there. And that is the problem. Back then, I was obsessed with Jules. I sang the songs just like her. I could even recite full chapters. Something tells me you still can. That's besides the point. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but then I went to middle school. And what a surprise. Tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold it against jewels. I always hold the my my my. Uh, I don't hold it against jewels. I always hold my grudge against those fuck jobs. Sounds rough. You know, most girls worry about their thighs at that age. I worried about jerk asses singing the, the theme tune of, my sh of the show mocking me. Anyway, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. I never talk about it because I find... The whole thing too silly in retrospect. And yet it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it though. It's actually kind of reasonable. I sure hope so. I kind of wanna... It's hard to see because of like the, the railing. But I kind of want to see what their sprites look like without this. Because I'm pretty sure that... That these are actually like... Two separate sprites in the game's files. At least I think they should be.
Come to think of it, what kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind to always fight with kids bigger than me. Yo. Yo, Dana, we're, we're like, what? Yo. Then purity happened, I became the Merriam Web Webster. Definition of shallow jerk word. Jerk wad. Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was uh, and went on to become who I am today. And the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. Say, so, boss, how do you like. How do you like them men? 2D. 2D. Yes, I don't mind anything as long as. As long as that thing is cute or 2D. How about you? Um. Back in high school, I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. After a while, I just wanted them stable for stable. And now, and now, I don't know. I stopped caring about them being funny. My high school boyfriend started. Started conflating, cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. I also stopped caring about them being successful. I realized half the time they had no qualms about cheating, cheating with me or, or on me. Wait, they had no qualms about cheating with me or on me. And I stopped caring about them being stable. I realized they were kind they were the kind of person I was trying not to become not, not become stable There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he hated He started being physically ill Not only that the last time I managed to get some I ended up throwing a guy out you took incredible offense with how I smoked on the bed after sex. The bed could catch fire, you know. Not you two. I kind of envy Alma for that. At least when she dumps the guy, it's for less petty reasons. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just... It all boils down to the fact that I can't get my mind off Lenore lately. She was... She was all of what I just said. She made me laugh. She had a good position and was stable. She was also smart carrying. She was smart carrying and why can't I get my mind off the whole thing? It's... it's maddening. <sighs> Maybe I should go apologize. Maybe I should... Maybe that will make me rest easier at night. Get mind off things for a while. I don't even care about going back to her, but... But, ah. Hey, Jill, have you tried thinking about cloves for four? Cloves for. <laughs> Is it four or foray? I can't. I don't know. Listen, I know how you must feel. But you can't just let all of that cloud your senses. Next time you feel overwhelmed by those thoughts, try distracting yourself. <laughs> like with, say, thinking what kind of clothes you can put on Foray. Yeah. And now, boss, I'm a bit curious about your cycle of fr your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? 
keep in mind you're included in this circle too. So any insults you hurl will, will apply right back at you. Anyway, I have this friend I've known for a long time. A red-headed glasses-wearing gun nut called Iris. The one you called for the, the helmet thing? That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's called Nirvana. That's clever. I like that. This is Valhalla Nirvana. I like that. And if you thought this city was dangerous, you should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with. And means it's an annex to another business. What else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. She moved the bar to its own building elsewhere and opened Nirvana. Or Nirvan B. In the hotel instead. Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place... Away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. So that bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. That aside, let's see. Friends, friends. I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from my... Uh, from when I was with the Neo San Francisco Neo, Neo San Francisco Police Force, good old Lexi, should should give her a call sometime. Wait, you were in the what? I've done lots of things, Jill. I spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I have been a wrestler and I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter. Chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, uh, corporate mascot, corporate what? I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Jill, my sis Iris and Lexi, hmm. I guess there are a lot of people that don't want to see me in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. What about you? I guess I have, an, I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home in college, I went out a lot. But I felt more like going out was the pleasure rather than getting people involved. Aside from you and Jill, my closest friend since moving here is Alma. Oh, and Dorothy. I mean, sure, there is always foray but that's a but that cat's a hermit that refuses to go out and you know he's a cat hey a cat's fine too you know boss hey boss hmm how did you lose your v card v huh you know your v card your first time you're deflowering oh that well I'm legally bound to not disclose that information. Does that mean you lost it? Can't disclose that information. Come on, just give me a hint or... Jill, bad things will happen for everyone if that info is revealed in any way. Alright, alright, sheesh. I can only say this. My whole thing is related to my mechanical arm. Great. Now you're just teasing me. Any reason you want to know that? Well, everyone's first time is always a mess. But I've always... But I've always to know... 
but I have always to know if it was as messy a time as mine. I think, I think there was a typo there. What happened? Well, I got a lovey-dovey with my first boyfriend, and when we both got naked, I... <laughs> when I saw his... <laughs> when I saw his dick, I just started... <laughs> I started laughing. What? Got nervous? Nervous? No, I just find dicks funny. You... Huh? They're funny, they're... Pfft. Right after seeing your prom in the hotel jacuzzi? Oh, is that, the, is that your first time? They have a sack attached to them, and... <laughs> And they grow, and, uh... I don't see a Jill. They're just... <laughs> They're just stupid meat rods. So, how did your boyfriend react? He went flaccid from the laughter, and... It, it just shrunk and went limp. Oh my god. The poor guy who... Does not he does not have any self confidence left? I can guarantee you that poor guy. He's not, like, he he's never seen himself the same way since. <laughs> I had to work it out for a bit, so I could control my laughter. But it's so hard. They're just so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid me, Raj. Jill? Huh. Well, let's see how to move her back inside before she catches a cold. Wow. Chapter 2, Amaruga. This chapter's name means bitter. Wait, there's multiple endings? Hold on. Oh! Boss left the hoodie. Anyway. I still love that slot shirt. Shirt. Like it, I, I can't get over that one. Monday, December nineteenth. Good evening, Jill. Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key. Remember? Wait. That's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait. Why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Jill. Thanks, I guess. What? Are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen. 
I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. I have that shirt in my closet somewhere. The exact same shirt, bright pink with white letterings. Oh. Does it say slut? Because I think, I think I need that shirt. Like... <laughs> Like I, 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 like I'll look for it somewhere. Yep, I think I got it off Amazon. Fuck, is my phone it's in front of me? That's where it is. Hold on, hold on. On slot shirt. No, hold on. Uh, Valhalla. Oh my god, there it is. It's actually for sale, no fucking way. Alright. <gasps> I'll get that one day. I'm not sure how much it actually I can check that. why didn't I check that? How much does it cost? 24 USD? How much is that in pounds? How much is 25 USD in, in pounds? Uh, no, that's something else entirely. I have no idea. I'll look for it one day, though. Remember, there, uh, yeah, yeah. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried? You can probably get it for 17 or 17, 16 or 17, depending on the, depending on the seller, yeah. I mean, which, admittedly, that's not that much for a shirt. Like, I think shirts tend to cost more. At least online. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check. Check if the cats didn't move... The internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute in it, with it. I, I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right. Um, boss, about last night. I think I said one too many things and uh So what? Drunk banter is something you see every day. It's not like I'm gonna think less of you because of it. Relax. If anything, I feel closer to you after seeing you, after seeing you so wasted. Oh. So yeah. Don't give it much thought. <laughs> Stupid meat rods. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Nothing. Let's go. Are you okay? Your face is red. I'm fine! Well, and apparently... Which one's my favorite of these? Uh... Yeah. Can I? What if I? No. What if I? What if I make? I have an idea, right? Okay. Well, I'll need to. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Jill. 
Hmm? Guts here, fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Der for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss, some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um, well, you heard her. Love how diverse you are with your music choices. Oh, thank you. I, I take pride in it. It's all right. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely, because of my position anyways. Handle me like I'm just another client. Uh, Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Guess something about that joke. <laughs> Um, sugar rush. Oh. Uh, I'll add that extra karma trine just to make him, j just just to give me extra, po just to make him give me extra points. Just, yo. Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you can only need to follow that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not right. Huh? They never told me that. You're Joe, right? Yep, that's me. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And... I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now where to start? You saw the news on the information leak during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organization in their ranks? Turns out, the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of the same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. I bet Jill, not the main character, the other Jill, Jill with a G. I bet he's he's one of the he's one of these guys. I bet. I bet he's like a shady dude. I, I bet he's like a shady dude. Imagine the plot twist. The absolute plot twist. Have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. He's pretty shady, but has a soft spot for his bar. Yeah, I think that's what it's gonna end up being, if it's anything at all. Where does Bah? Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are uh, the ones under the radar right now. And the uh, modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar 
with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your seems your guess was spot on, Jill. Hmm. If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was. That whole farmer fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember... The recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Get me one of those, please. Sure. The suplex. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. All on the rocks and mixed. Here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Jill, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Jill. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Sorry, Brian, I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? <laughs> Jill? Not really, no. Although... Yeah? If you were, if you were to evaluate my performance right now... What, how would you rate me? Clean and timely. Delivering of the correct orders. A top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor, supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella. And get me a big beer, please. Huh? Sure, on it. Uh, just a big beer? Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. Four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Boya. Are you sure you're fine? Um, you know, say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair and... Oh. Right, that. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that... As much as I'd love to say that I had... 
Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright. That would sound a bit condescending. <sighs> what does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Um, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah. Maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art... Van... O... Von Delay? Oh, that art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. And I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it. But he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about say whether they might be. Whatever they might be. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems as a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. When I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, un useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get your drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me- that'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Something sweet. No, I'll give her a blue fairy. Because of Say. Say, Say ordered it once and they talked about it. You know what? I'll make it large just for her. Two, three, four. And then one, two. All aged. And you know what? I'll add a bunch of Karma Trine as well, just because. Uh, and mix. So, like this. Serve. Here. Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So, Say is more of a friend to me. She's... She's... Sorry I brought that topic up at the at a bad time. Um, don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. Um, which one's my sad face? Uh, uh, what was it? Um, six? Yes, six. Aww. Poor Say. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually like that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use, they use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. Who is Say? I can just- I can be myself and do whatever. I can do whatever I want I'll, and and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people 
do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my, my break and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Jill, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Okay. Let me save. A seven break. Um, should I take a break myself? I still need to finish this beer, so let me actually just chug it all. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find anything to eat, and uh, ugh. come on, it's just a beer, I'm not drunk yet, surely not, usually it would take a few bottles before I am fully like, dead. All right, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can get something to eat and then I'll be right back, hopefully. If I'm not dead, that is. And Valhalla. It's now safe to keep playing. God damn, is it chilly outside? Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Where the fuck are my glasses? I cannot find them. Found them. I should start making a habit of putting my glasses on my computer. But, okay. Uh...
Can't remember what was on my uh what was on my thingy. I want this first to actually hold up. Is that? Is that the whole song? Which city? Hold on. I'm ba- eh? What would a kid like you know about that, huh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see... Detective guy comes in, Cat Boomer Girl greets him, they start talking... Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Saibot's corp off offhand. After that, the guy got riled up. And started bad mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one she just carried. Oddly enough, he was the only one she just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny that, but Scorp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced quality. Of, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around your necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them t to use, however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True. I don't know. And true. I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But you can't deny the um, meddling of Zybot's Corp has brought quite a few benefits. Like what? The AI integration, yeah, the AI integration program they started is making huge adm advancements in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, we also hold the AI reform and 
reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's Lillen prison. AI went rogue. AI went rogue. Transfer it to a uh, delivery drone or ship it. Ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Although, that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um, the city also has stronger economy. Cybatsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Cybots Corp's me main medical research brand has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey you, don't just sit there. Give me a Zensar. Sure. Four of everything. On the rocks. Here. Good. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are, are limited to a few. I can talk about ad advances all I want, but in the end... They're all st they're still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. It doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where it's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole ordeal started. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured. But witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. That, the weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. 
Thanks, keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Sam might have found a way out. She's a resor resourceful girl. Resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um... Just... Get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. On it. <laughs> Two bad touches. Uh, on the rocks. Uh... Bad touch one. And... Bad touch two. On the rocks. Okay. Um, let me try that one again. Um... I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one... After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm... <laughs> now that I think of it, did you find... That girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Von Delay? Turns out, she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose. And she happened to be at, at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin, assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with, say, is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself well... I once saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and met she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all that. Say is not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resor resourceful. She surely found a way out. <sighs> I just hope she's... Uh, well... Well... We're, we're, what the fuck is that? Wherever. Oh my god, I'm blind. It, it looked off for a second. And I was like, what the fuck is that word? And I was like, I... Oh my god. Okay, um...
I just hope she's well wherever she is. Wherever, wherever the hell she is. Okay. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vo Mr. Von Delay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay, then. I have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. A piano man. It's been a while since I made this. And by a while, I mean it's been since yesterday. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And all in the rocks mixed. Here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My con my contact will arrive at the Ren Rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on safe situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you. It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. This place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. All right then. That would be all. That would be all, Dana. Oh wait, it's Brian. All right then, that'd be all, Dana. Quite a mess with the situation with um Robert. Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. Is that... Yeah. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Aha, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. I mean, if you need anything, we'll do. Um... This holophone's an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't... And wouldn't you say it's more interesting now? What? It finally hung up. Phew. It's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have... Arrived yet again. At the... <coughs> oh god. At the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Vir Virgilio. Um, 
We are all little toys winded by uh, the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. <sighs> yeah, wait. Ah. And yet, you're only one in the vicinity hyper. You're the only one in the facility hyperventilating. That's um, I was jogging. Just like that, I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake, of course. Uh, something fake. I'll just give you a rum and get your ass out of here. There you go. Now tell me, why is this... What? Now tell me why this is a fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of giving me a... Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract order of... Or... Of... About the abstract order are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Say, Virgilio. Where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the steampunk museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Eh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator here. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah... I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay then. Time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Purity. Frothy water is pure, right? I'd say so. Aged and mixed. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Ah. Hmm. Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think... No, 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 no. We haven't met. Ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Ah, Jill. I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me. Have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't... We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um... Do you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Yeah, thanks for getting rid of that guy. I couldn't stand him. Are you done for the day? Yep. 
quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Jill. Uh, Jill stuff. Don't mind that. What were you talking about to Brian? Well... We're mostly catching up, to be honest. Hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when, when uh, we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Uh, oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yeah. It must be nothing. Yeah, for it, you'll come with me to work. What did I do? <sighs> mm. Good evening. Ah, hello, Jill. And that cage? I, um... Brought my cat. Your cat? Did I hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me to that bastard. I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. Wait. There are no evil Omyoji here. Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat. Well, it's even... Well, that's even better. Hey, Foray. So cute. Why'd you bring him? I heard some apartments in my... I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know, so... I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, oh, well. I'd say something about the health regulations, but we have already had a pack of, of corgis here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office, please? Sure. He's a bit shy, so... Alright, Foray, let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, Jill, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep. Chief got me in a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyways, let's start. Mmm. I'll just keep it the same. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Yo, what's up? Um, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. So you're the part-timer? Yeah. Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early. Shit. The part-timer is here. Huh? He came early? Why a dog? Why? 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 Because look at him. He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. 
I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Granted, Shibas could be seen as Japanese counterparts to Corgis. They're both funny looking. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help will help around here. My name is It doesn't matter what your name is. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Shiba. Why Rad Shiba? That's part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses, don't you get? He's the he's the raddest thing here. Thanks. Anyway, he will mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in and cleaning, bring clients in and cleaning. But he ought to know how things work. Cleaning. That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you and see how you work. Um, right. What can I get you? <laughs> I have a grizzly temple. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. Name Grizzly Temple. Wait, no, that's not. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One. Blended. That wasn't it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. There we go. Don't know what I did last time. Here. Wow, this is awful. People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe, I know. So, what brings a dog like you taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Safer Toy Company? What? No, don't lump me in with those hurting supremacists. I have a more noble and bent beaning organization I belong to. Sira. Sira. K9 Independence Rescue Associate Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from from themselves. Sira is what I love, but Damn, is it expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time's job to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Sira the best we can, the best it can be. What do you do at Sira? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds nice. Say, do you have a menu? Something like that, yeah, here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. Name so Luffy Dream One Two Three One Two Three 
way I was supposed to be aged. Fluffy dream. Well, this one's nice. So why'd you pick a bar? Seem fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this. So that was my best bet. <laughs> Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking and I do love me some walks I could walk all day weird skills yeah stuff like food handler certificate previous work experience or thumbs why'd you pick a bar um on a whim too I guess I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time and bartendering sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah. About the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it... Hey. It's a cat. A cat! Hey, Foray, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat. Wanna play? Let's play. Didn't dogs hate cows, cats or something? We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh? You said his name was Foray? Hello Foray, let's play. No playing allowed, you'll make a mess. Foray, go back to boss's office. Meow. That's one of beating cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face over here for a bit. Yeah? Alright. <sighs> I shouldn't get riled up so easily but by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Eh? That voice! S eh? eh? What happened to you? Nice seeing you too. Well, I fell from a really tall place, so I... From a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mobs on uh, lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages help me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why well, come straight here? It's also funny because technically the bandage should be above her hair. Because, you know, how it. But because, you know, it's supposed to be like around her head, right? But for some reason. It goes under her hair. How? How does that work? She's Is she wearing a wig under there? She's actually bald. Called it. Why come straight here? I... The ambulance where I got my treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby, and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? The security system of the bar are top-notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about so, I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First I hear you were at the bank, then I found out you disappeared. And now you show up with all 
with all those injuries. Are you fine? What happened at the bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow. Slow down a bit. The medication made me feel everything more intensely. Almost like a hangover. S sorry. It's nice to know... Someone like a bartender was worried about me. Was worried about me though, thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knights they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol. Thank God these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... Jill, please, I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. Nope. I mean, yes, I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet. Sweet and no alcohol, right? Coming right up. So, no, wait. Flavor. Sweet. Sugar rush can, can work. Okay, spark. You know, let's give her a sparkle star. In fact, you know what? Uh, no. Flavor. Sweet. No, no, she likes blue fairy, so I'll give her blue fairy. A big one, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. And no alcohol, she said. All aged. Blue fairy. Careful. Yay. This will help me calm down a bit. So what happened to you? Where did you fall from? <laughs> I was escaping the place near the end of that whole thing. And I had to make a leap of faith. I've jumped from higher places but landed badly here. But landed badly here. Most of my f injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, and my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to migrate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. I'm also just realizing how jacked she is, like holy shit. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me here. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. What? N nothing. You sound, um, cheerful. I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am talking to you, being able to talk and all. Then you... <laughs> that face. <laughs> don't you... Don't you think too... Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Ah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Eh? Um... How are things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion uh, when the whole thing happened. I had to slip here in the bar on Saturday. But I guess it could have been worse. I'm glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Eh? Um... Hey Jill, I want another drink. 
a, um, a bleeding Jane. Isn't bleeding Jane alcoholic? Oh, no, it isn't. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. All blended. Here. Ch cheers. <laughs> so, how are things inside the bank? <clears throat> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. They were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out the whole thing. Cracking through the security, finding safe spots. But then, um... Sorry for asking all that. It was obviously all over the place. No, don't worry about it. It's just... The... The... And... And... And I'll just sick, still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. Ah... <sighs> That girl saw some awful things inside that bank. The sight of desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that. I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here. I don't know. I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not something I can measure. You were just worried. I bet she's... Still just in shock. Yeah. Um, Jill? You want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. Alright. I'll go and take my break now. I'm actually gonna do the same thing. Save. Date. Break. Alright. I'm gonna put the BRB screen.